We've done um, addition face-off, subtraction face-off, and multiplication face-off. This is the multiplication face-off challenge. So when we add, our answer is called the sum. When we subtract, our answer is called the difference. When we multiply, our answer is called the product. So in the previous video, we did multiplication face-off versus uh, with, with two numbers to multiply. We're now going to add an extra card in the game and do three cards to multiply. So this is a challenge. If you're up for the challenge, go ahead and join me. If not, no big deal. We'll work our way up together. So you'll need the same thing as we have been using, a deck of cards and a dry erase board, or you can create your own dry erase board. Use the clear sheet protect protectors that you put in a binder and put a sheet of paper inside and it erases just like a dry erase board. Or you could just write it on a piece of notebook paper and keep track of it that way. I like to use different colors to help keep track of who's playing who. So multiplication pro uh, face off, you're going to look for the larger product. You're going to draw three cards this time with the challenge. So drew an eight, a two, and a three. Up to you on how you decide to multiply. Um, you can do eight times two, then multiply that answer times three. Two times three, multiply that answer by eight, or eight times three, and then double it in the end. Completely up to you on how you decide to do it. Um, do remember that we are multiplying, not adding, and that seems to be a common error. I'm going to multiply these two first. So three times two times eight. Three times two is like a double. You're like three plus three, which is six times eight. There's our six trick again. So six times that number eight, count by fives first, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, count them by ones, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Player two, an eight, a nine, and a five. Again, up to you on how you decide to multiply. This one might be a challenge because we have some large numbers in here. So let's see. I think I would multiply this way, and I'll show you why. Eight times, and it's up to you on how you feel like multiplying. You can leave it in that order. I just rearrange it because with multiplication, it's like addition, and you can multiply in any order, you get the same answer. So I would do eight times five first because thinking of a clock, eight tells you what? It tells you five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 40 times nine. Well, if you're not doing up through 40 yet, what you could do is cover up the zero. Four times nine and use your nines trick. So four times nine, you count up what you're multiplying by, tuck that number in, so it's four. To the left of your tucked finger, you have three. And to the right, you have six. And that zero, you just put it at the end. 360, so 36 with the zero at the end, 360. Wow, that's a large product. Who has the larger product? That would obviously be player two or you. Next set, and I'm probably only going to get to do three to fill in my space. You can play till you're out of cards. You can keep going and going till you have however many points you want to play to, but up to you. So I have a four, an eight, and a five. Let's see. I would do this way. Four times five times eight. Four times five, I always think of a clock with fives. So the four tells you five, 10, 15, 20 times eight. Now, if you're not going through 20 yet, cover up the zero. Two times eight is easy, that's a double. That's like saying eight plus eight. Eight plus eight is 
16, and then you just put the zero at the end. 160. Two, three, and a six. This one's pretty easy. I would keep it in the order it is. Two times three times six. Two times three is six, and six times six is 36. Six times six is 36. Six times six is 36. It's just a rhyme me and my students do together. So who had the larger product? I had the larger product, so I would get the point that time. And so right now we're tied on points. The next round will determine who got the point. Unless by chance we got the same product, then we'd have to do a um, toss up just to a tiebreaker to see who won both points. So, I got a 2, a 9, and an 8. Um, I would keep it as is. 2 times 9 times 8. But I would do these multiplied first and then double that answer. That's just how my brain sees it. So 9 times 8. Here's the 9's trick. So 9 times that number, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, tuck it in. To the left of the tuck finger is seven. To the right is two. So that's 72 times two. So I would double that. 72 plus 72. That's a four. Seven plus seven is 14. 144 is my product. Player two. Ooh, this one's going to be a challenge. So, let's see. Um, it really doesn't matter what you put it in. It's going to be a challenge no matter what. I guess I would do 6 times 7 times 9. And I'll show you a trick to go with that. 6 times 7 times 9. And here's where we get into the two-digit multiplication that there's several ways to solve it. And I'll turn my board over and show you how to solve it. So 6 times 7. We have that handy-dandy 6 trick. So 6 times that number 7. You count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Count them by 1s. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42 times Nine. Now, there's several ways to solve this. I'm going to flip my board over to show you 42 times 9. There's two ways to solve it. Here's the regular algorithm we all learned growing up. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 4 times 9. I always use the 9 trick no matter what. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 on the tucked side on the left, 6 on the other side, so 36 plus that one, 37, or 42 times 9. You can break it apart into place value. So the value of this 4 in the tens place is 40 times 9, and the value of this 2 in the ones place is 2 times 9. Cover up the 0, 4 times 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 3 on this side, 6 on this side, so 36, put a 0 at the end. 2 times 9 is like having a double, 9 plus 9 is 18. And then add those two, drop down the 8, 6 plus 1 is 7, drop down the 3, 378. You get the same answer, there's just two ways to solve it. This is the break apart strategy, you break it into place, value, multiply, and the reason why we do it that way is you have smaller numbers that you're multiplying. And then you have the zeros trick. So there's your smaller number to multiply, and there's your small number to multiply, and then you add them. Completely up to you on how your brain works. The biggest struggle here is remembering that you have to add that number that you carry. 
So our product, our answer is 300, 378. That's a really big product. So you got the, you got the point for that answer. You finished with two, I finished with one. So you would win that round. Again, this is just the multiplication challenge. This would be for third graders up to fourth grade. Um, if you are second grade, let's keep to the two numbers multiplying unless you're up for the challenge, good for you. So make it your own, enjoy, have fun, and thank you for watching.